guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to another video. And today I'm going to be going over a couple different things that I got from Savers. But most importantly, I would like to have some help identifying if a Louis Vuitton bag is real. I think that it's fake, but I would like my subscribers who have a wealth of knowledge, more than me, I'm sure, um, about this topic, give me their opinions and also um, maybe some clues, uh, you know, to tell if a, hand, if a Louis is fake or real. I do know some <clears throat> clues, but um, not all of them. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, if you're interested in anything, please email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing pricing, um, I just want to show you everything that I got and talk about different things and the Louis bag. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so this is, um, I got some things from the thrift store by down where I used to work. Um, the Love in Action, the uh, thrift store that is all volunteer and um, benefits the uh, homeless animals. So let's, I'll show you that first. I got a couple clothing items. Because um, every time I go down and get my nails done, the <coughs> sorry, the thrift store is right there. So the first thing I got was this Vince Camuto. It is it's kind of like this shirt. You can wear it on the shoulder or you can wear it off the shoulder. It is an uh, 3x, super fun and flowy, like a pretty leaf print. Love this. Um, so that will get put onto my eBay and Poshmark, probably for around $25. Um, then I got this, is by ASOS, and it is a 14. And I just liked the print, it's um, like a giraffe print, I guess. I thought that was very cute. And she took off the tags, but um, their clothing is pretty cheap. Usually it's not, nothing's over $5. Um, this is a Michael Kors 3X. Oh, the ASO side probably lists for around 20 or 23. This Michael Kors, I think I just said it, is also a 3X. And it's just a really pretty zipper, zip up blouse with the roll tab sleeves. These. These sleeves, actually they're not roll tab, but you can roll them. The roll tab sleeves are actually my favorite because I don't like having long sleeves in my way. So I either roll my sleeves up all the time or I use the roll tab, so. Um, so this, and I like the zipper. It has the little MK logo. So this I will probably list for like 25 or so, 28 online. And you guys know my prices for subscribers are usually like 40 to 50% off the prices I say I list them for. Okay, so then I found these jeans. Paige is a um, pretty high-end re retail designer. So I got these jeans. These are a size 30. I thought they were super cute for the spring. They are um, skinny leg. So these I will probably list for probably $30, I would say. All right, that's all the clothing. I'll save the purse. Even though I got a purse at the thrift store there, I'm going to save it and show all the purses together. Um, now let's go into savers. I got a couple of things for my booth. One being this guy. Look at how cute he is. He is, I believe, a vintage um, dresser caddy. So the back, you would put your, like a man would put their wallet in there and any like change would go in here and or up here. So um, I believe this to be a dresser caddy. I don't think it's a planter because how do you put dirt in something like that? So, um, but I'm gonna do some research on it and figure it out if it's not and I paid $7.99. So he will go in my booth for probably 20, 24. 
Then I got this cool, these cool cats and kittens. Um, I'm so happy he made it in the car because the person did not pack it. She just put it on top of, in the bag, on top of everything else, so I almost died. Anyway, um, this surprisingly is Lennox, and I would have never thought that. I did not buy it because it's Lennox. I bought it because they're animals. Um, but it's the wildlife of, of the seven continents, and it's called Lions of Africa Fine Porcelain, and it was 1988 and $6.99. So I'll put them in my booth for probably 25. So, and I'm not shipping this. No way, look at that tail. <laughs> not shipping that baby. That's the other good thing I like about having a booth is I can choose to purchase like super fragile items and put them in my booth as opposed to shipping them and risking them breaking in transit. All right, so let's go through some shoes. So I found these at Savers. Um, now, they were in the girls section, but I believe these to be men's. These are the Timberland, I looked it up, Earth Keepers or Earth something. Um, but it turns out they are men's and they are a size nine in men's. But you know, if you're a woman, what does that bring it to? A 10 and a half, I think, so I mean, it's up to you because you can, and you can wear the flowers on the outside and fold this down because the tongue does say it to be, you know, to wear it that way. Okay, so these, and I also believe these to be in brand new condition, maybe worn, I guess they were worn because they do have like this, the crease there, but whatever. So these were $34.99, but they were half off, remember? So um, these should do well, um, probably list them for about 80. Then I found these cuties. Now, this brand, Kenzie, it's not that great of a brand. I believe that they're just sold in department stores. Um, nothing crazy. However, I just couldn't pass up the style. I just thought this was so cute and so on trend and I loved like the uneven, like the asymmetric cut and the snake print and they're in fabulous condition and they were only 350. So I really can't complain. I love these so much. If they were my size, I'd be keeping them, but they are a seven. So I will probably be listing them for around 24. So cute, no damage. Like the toes are great, everything's great. Then I found, okay, so I didn't find them. I knew that these were here. I saw these last time I went to Savers um, and I didn't get them because they were $16.99, but because it was half off, I bought them. So these are Aldo. I don't normally buy Aldo, but um, they do make very on trend shoes. So I bought these because they are almost new. They have no wear on the toes or anything. I'll just get some Goo Gone, and you guys can use Goo Gone on a paper towel for the whites of shoes, and it comes out so good. So um, it's a little tip. So these I paid like around $7 for, and I'll probably be listing them for about 30, and they are, I don't know what size they are. The sticker says eight to eight and a half. So we'll just go with that because I don't see, oh here, nope, doesn't say that. So I would think they're about an eight. Let's see, nope, maybe an eight and a half. I don't know, if anyone's interested, I'll do, I'll figure out the exact size. <laughs> so, and then the last pair of shoes, I searched through the boots and I found these cutie little Western boots. Oops, I almost dropped it. So these are by Franco Sardo. 
Now, I've talked about this brand before. I think they're really underrated. I think that their shoes are excellent quality, super cute and on trend, and um, the resale value just isn't always there. And if it is there, they're a hard, like a harder sale. But I will not give up on them, and I still buy them, and I thought these were so super cute. And um, I think the only little boo-boo I saw was right there there's a teeny little tear um but honestly the boots in general have like that very distressed look so i don't think it'll matter i will obviously list it in the the description and these i believe to be brand new um maybe someone had tried them on and just stubbed the toe or something i don't know but these were half off of 16 of $10.99 so I mean for like five bucks how can you not get these um, and they are a size 8 so I mean that's my size these are so cute so I'll probably list these for around 30 as well beautiful leather buttery soft very cute okay onto the purses. So back to the um, thrift store down where I get my nails done and where I used to have a full-time job. I found this Kate Spade. Super de duper cute. Excellent condition. It is authentic. It has the cute green inside. I actually think this color combo is super adorable. The inside is clean, not that you can really see it. The strap is excellent. Um, yeah, I mean, it has cute little ties on the side. The bottom is nice. So um, I will probably list this for about 30, 35, I would say. Super cute. All right. Okay, so this one I'm going to show you. Now, if you watched my video yesterday or the video previous to this video, I talked about how I found a fake Versace purse, but I didn't care that it was fake because I thought the style of the purse was cute in general and I got it anyway. So, here it is. Now, what drew me to it was the style of the purse. I didn't even know it was fake um, Versace so here it is and all of this is like a um, faux fur it's not real leather or patent leather leather well it might be patent leather but and then here is the oops the Versace right there and then it has this front pocket which is ginormous and then like this little separated pocket you can throw your cell phone in. And then the main compartment of the purse is right here. Now, it does say Versace here. However, when you see it, you'll know that it's fake because it looks like a child sewed it. Uh, can you see it? It's all crooked. The, the actual emblem, like they stamped it crooked. And then the sewing is not the greatest either. So that is a telltale sign of fake. Also, the zipper pulls do not have any um, stamps, like no Versace, no YKK, no nothing. Um, and plus the inside material is very just, you know, as I like to say, doo-doo. It's not doo-doo, it's doo-doo quality. Okay, how about that? And then the back has this pocket. But all in all, it's a really cute purse. It's in really excellent condition. The um, patent leather just has to be cleaned up a little bit. There is a little mark right above the emblem right there, but the handles are excellent. So the bottom is excellent. It's just a little dirty. So um, this, obviously, since it is 
what is this? Oh, this is, oh, this is another thing. The hang tag, it doesn't say anything. Um, this I cannot sell online because it is fake. But however, if one of you guys are interested, um, I will be selling this for $30. So let me know if anybody would like this. $30 plus shipping. Um, okay. Now on to the main event. <laughs> All right, hear me out. So, I opened, I, I picked up the bag and immediately when I felt the Louis, it felt real. It felt like real leather. It looked like real leather, like nice, worn in, well-loved, um, no real damage. And then when I looked in the inside, that's when I kind of figured it was fake. So, let me show you the outside. Very nice coloring, um, you know, the leather looks great, it feels great, it didn't feel like, um, I I mean, I see a lot of fake Louis, like I, I don't think people maybe know, other people can tell, I don't know, but the first telltale sign I know of is the edge coating, which is this edge coating, um, is usually red on a fake Louis. So that is, I mean, you can see that from a mile away. <clears throat> the edge coating is red. Um, so this is not, and if you can see, it has, you know, the leather, like from holding it and the oils is very well, very well oiled. <laughs> so everything to me from the outside looks good. Um, I did pay 20 for it. And then it has the lock. Hi, Nico. <laughs> but then when I opened it, I didn't think it was real anymore. So the pocket here, usually it would have like the Louis Vuitton little tab. And then when you lift it up, usually I think it has the serial number or sometimes the serial numbers in a pocket, something like that. I know for Gucci, the label hangs right here and then you pick it up and it has the serial number on the other side. Um, none of it, there's nothing like that. This um, came with it, but I don't think it goes with it. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's a different color. What? <laughs> um, it's a different color leather. And I mean, it, it is embossed with Louis Vuitton right there so maybe this is real I don't know it does say Louis Vuitton there there you know both sides um, it does feel like real leather and it feels very nice so if you guys I mean this probably was bought after the fact and added I mean, it looks like it's straight and everything, but I don't know. So that's the um, shoulder strap of it. Oh, and the, um, here, this is also what I don't think is real. The zipper pulls have um, a lot of wear to them. And I don't think a real Louis would have, I don't think it would wear like that. Like the gold tone is coming off. But like I said, if it is fake, I think it's a good one. So, I mean, it smells like leather still, and it just looks really, it looks nice. It looks good from the outside, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but I would like to get your guys' opinions on um, maybe things that you know of to check for, for fake bags. Um, fake Louis bags, nothing else, because every bag is different. There's there's different, you know, characteristics for each um, brand. So I will be selling this eventually. I might use it a couple times first. Um, oh, and I think another thing Louis does is they make their bags out of one piece of leather. So um, one side of the bag will be straight like this, and the other side will be upside down. 
you get it so like you take one piece of leather and you wrap it all the way around and then you would stick this on the bottom maybe I don't know but I know a lot of their like duffel looking bags I don't know the names of all these bags because I can't afford this stuff so <laughs> um, it's upside down on one side because they lose they use one piece of leather for the entire bag this does not have that but if you're walking and holding it on one side no one's gonna see the other side okay but anyway that's my little haul and my um, request for help and um, tips for telling if a Louis is real or fake. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.